that Russia? Yeah, the word Rosh there, Rosh, is used in Ezekiel 38 and 39. And we don't just say that it's Russia because the words sound alike. A lot of people say, well, you know, Rosh sounds like Russia. Uh, there really is good evidence biblically, and when you go back in the language, that this was the area that we know today as Russia. And geographically, it is to right. the north of Israel. That's right. And it says three times there in Ezekiel 38 and 39 to the uttermost parts of the north. Well, all distances in, in the Bible are always from Israel. So if you go the farthest north you can go from Israel, you're in Russia. And so what Ezekiel 38 and 39 speak of a great end time coalition. There's a leader there called Gog, and that word just means high or exalted, probably his view of himself. G-O-G. G-O-G, Gog. Mm -hmm. And he's of the land of Magog. And these places that are listed in Ezekiel 38 are Russia, and one of them is Iran, one of them is Libya, another, several of the names relate to Turkey. So a lot of these things we, we see happening in that part of the world I think are significant. And really what happened with the fall of the Soviet Union has really set things up even better. People thought, well, that's the end of that prophecy, and that prophecy wasn't correct. Yeah. No, actually it's come back now and been reformed in a way that's even uh, more compelling and even more in line with what the Bible says.